Don't blink, it's your boy Ink. Welcome to the result. Welcome to another show. This is Ink. Welcome to the having a wonderful third October 2024. And it's so sunny inside, it's crazy. But hey, we love the sun, right? So, episode number eight of season three of Dexter is finally where things move along. So, Dexter, once again, they found the perfect victim. And this time, when it's right, Dexter comes to kill them. Miguel is there. But let's go forward because this is the best part of the show. I'm not going to give you guys the candy before you go trick or treating, right? It's Halloween after all. Um, so, yeah, so Deb and Quinn, they're finally on the same wavelength. And it's 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 such an anticlimactic, but it's such an, in a good fashion. You were expecting, you were expecting Quinn and Deb to have this huge conclusion. But just at the end, they're seeing more eye to eye. So the problem with Quinn, with Deb, was Deb was too furious. Deb was fucking up because she was so intense. She was fucking up. And the problem with Deb is she couldn't know, she didn't know if she could trust Quinn. However, in this case, Quinn is right because Quinn wants results, which is the whole MO of Morgan and the whole MO of Miguel. Quinn is like, okay, well, I'll get results no matter what. And... It's funny because on this season, and I didn't know that know that before. I didn't notice that before. But on this season, we have Miguel and Dexter who are bending, willing to bend the rules to kill bad guys. We got Quinn who is willing to bend the rules to put bad guys behind bars. I'm like, yeah, but Quinn's nicer. And you're like, okay, well, who's the good guy here? And you're supposed to get, say, Dexter. But is it Dexter or is it Quinn? The answer is I don't know. Um, we're finally off the case of Ramon. So we're finally starting to see somebody else. Um, and every single, in every single uh, attack, there was some tree that needed to be cut. And you guys remember in this episode number three, uh, the f people that call the police, the people that are on there, on the set to, to see the murder, are tree cutters. So they're starting to put their, their way in here. And it's, it's nice because now uh, we've got more love story with Anton and... Um, She's Deb, she's finally in love with him. She finally set him free. She's like, you don't like to be a CI anymore. And you can do whatever you want and it's all good. And it's good for Anton because um with Deb it was it was it wasn't boring, but it was like, okay, well, you're falling in love with the wrong guy. Once again, for the third time in a row. Your first boyfriend on the show was a killer. That's your fault. The second boyfriend on the show was a cop who didn't give a shit about you. And Lundy did give a shit about her. But all of that flirting, all of that for what? For no purpose. And then you got Anton, who is this criminal that you shouldn't fall in love with, but treats you better and is more a better boyfriend than both of them. Um, with um, with again with Lagetta and Wolf, we're seeing we're seeing finally that Wolf has some plan, and we're seeing that she she's very powerful, and soon she's gonna go against Miguel, which I think Miguel knows. Um, then we have the kill, and the kill is so cool because the kill is. A, a criminal they both do they both agree on the first one which is again there was another kill that dexter told miguel hey come and kill him with me and Miguel was like okay i'll be there you see that's my problem with season three that's my problem i think season three i think season one you care about the kills season two you care about the kills season three then we care shot was the only kill i enjoy the other one is like okay well free bull was a drug dealer there's a thousand drug dealer Right, uh, the child predator. Okay, kill him. I'm not saying you should kill people, but it's a show, guys. It's a show, and uh, that's pretty much it. Now there's this gambler that I don't know why they're killing. Yes, he killed people, but again, there's bigger asshole out there. And what is bothersome about this season? It doesn't really make sense. And this is why the season for me is a bit weaker. I'm not saying it's bad, but it's a bit weaker. Um, you had a. A killer who is killing and he's a serial killer and he keeps on killing and killing and killing and he's getting his victim alive and Dexter's like no I'm gonna just gonna let it go I don't care about the kills that make it doesn't make sense why go against multiple small victims when you can go up against a big fish does make a lot of sense and again I'm not complaining I'm just saying um now me uh, Dexter 
he has Miguel, and Miguel is really respectful, and it's nice because Miguel's like, you know what, I, I'll let you take the lead, and even then, he's a, he's a superstar, and he has this ring, and Miguel goes to reach it, and Dexter's like, no, it goes against the cold. So, even then, uh, Miguel goes to the cold, and the first kill is Miguel, and Dexter's like, should I get him, should I let him kill, or not? What I really like about this episode is the kill itself. Um, I don't like the, the person to kill, but to kill itself, Dexter didn't take a trophy because he didn't kill it, so it makes sense. We got more of Harry, and Harry's trying to prove Dexter's wrong, and it's like, yo, what you're doing is not okay. You're teaching this guy there's no coming back. If you cross that line, there's no coming back. And Dexter even tells him how to hide the body, tells him how we operate, how to kill, what, what medication or um, injection you use. And the very last, the at the, I want to say like at 10 minutes left of the show, I'm gonna kill, and at 2 minutes left, Miguel goes to visit Wolf and kills her. So yeah, Harry was right.